Hey everybody, I am Erica from Bricks Real Estate. I'm excited you're here to talk about a big move from Minnesota to Arizona. I have uh, also been on that path at one point. It just was a really long time ago. I had graduated from college and I had an opportunity to live in Phoenix. I think it was Tempe actually. And I, I visited Sedona as well during my time. I decided not to move to Arizona. That's why I'm a Minnesota realtor. But that doesn't mean it wouldn't be a good decision at another point. And I didn't really mean to choose Minnesota or or Arizona. It was just a place I was at um, that time in my life. I needed a job and I actually found a job easier here in Minnesota than Arizona. So putting that aside, I know there's lots of reasons to move across the country. Uh, Let's dig into some of those right now. So why Arizona? Uh, I think it's really interesting that you'll pay less taxes in Arizona, but of course we know they have fantastic weather, food, uh, the outdoor activities are going to be great because you're not going to have those four seasons living in the desert. I think it's fascinating that the cost of living is much lower than our state. And uh, depending on the actual city you end up, look at uh, the screen here, Tucson is showing you it's at 155. By no means am I an Arizona expert, Chandler, Scottsdale, Glendale, there's lots of cities that you should consider before uh, choosing your actual destination. So let's dig into the path of least resistance here. Making a move across the country is obviously a big decision. It's expensive. There's a lot to consider. One thing I need to really express strongly to you is that if you are going to use the traditional mortgage, getting a loan for the house, assuming you're not buying it fully with cash, is to work with your loan officer very early in the process. Real quick story time, I did work with a client who put their house on the market, ended up having to move in with family members because we were not really ready for them to move across the country. And by the time I met them, this had already been in motion and I felt just so bad about it. Like I felt like the agent they had used in their home state did not really prepare them. And one really big way was that they weren't qualified for a loan. So when they got here to Minnesota, we had to wait until jobs were established and we had to kind of force them into a renting process that they weren't that excited about. So if you're not excited about renting in Arizona, I absolutely feel like not only getting somebody, um, getting it set up so that you know what you're doing with your house sale, but you also have to make sure that you're ready to go once you're in Arizona. And if that's renting, again, that's fine. But is that what you want? And how can we make this a smooth process for you? The way you can do that is don't just you know, put your house on the market and then get in a moving truck. We need to slow down and make sure you have everything in the right order. So let's get into the actual move. First things first, of course, we need you to have a plan. So you're going to, of course, need a moving truck, or I assume you will. When you do that, please get recommendations. Look at reviews. Make sure they're licensed and insured. That can be major problems. As for your car, don't forget you can ship it if you don't want to put the miles on your vehicle. As you start packing, uh, do not forget to get a hold of your utilities and the other providers you have. A lot of times my clients tend to forget these things. As you do your research, and I'm happy to help you with this, we need to find you a great local lender like myself who can help you find the right place in the right area, answer your questions. And then finally, moving receipts. Especially if you're moving for a job transfer, I would uh, look into this because I'm not a tax professional, but it could be a deduction. No doubt moving across an entire country is a really big deal. It doesn't really matter if it's Arizona or somewhere else. Uh, So I did want to keep this video short and sweet. So with that in mind, there's a couple of ways that I can help you with the next steps. Um, Of course, you may need a realtor in Arizona. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me so I can find somebody that can best suit you, whether it's um, more the northern, southern part. It doesn't matter. If it's here for Minnesota, of course, I'd be happy to help you determining your home value, getting ready for the market. Uh, We do have a property management company uh, at Bricks that I can connect you with if you're considering renting the property out. I would be absolutely honored to hear from you if you have any questions about real estate. Thanks for joining me today.